everybody I'm Amber Ryan and welcome to my channel uh, today's video is going to be uh, my first art video in a while honestly um, just because I filmed several videos uh, together <laughs> around the same time frame and then they took me forever to edit and then I've been uploading once a week so I had several videos ready to go luckily and uh, yeah, the last video I did was actually technically a craft project. Um, it was just a bunch of sewing, not really any painting or drawing to it. Um, so I finally <laughs> was just like, okay, I need to sit down and actually paint or draw or do something artistic because I'm going to go crazy. So one thing I've been wanting to do is paint on postcards. So I have two different brands, uh, which I will give you guys a closer view when I do uh, the kind of overhead filming um, <laughs> when I get to painting. Um, but I honestly, what came about was I was looking on Arteza and uh, because I love to go there and kind of look for a little bit of inspiration mainly and for like different ideas on what to do. And uh, I go there to get my acrylic paint that I use. I absolutely love their paint. But for some reason, I, I think for COVID reasons, honestly, but they haven't restocked since well before Christmas. And it's really becoming frustrating to me because I am almost completely out of my paint. And if I run completely out, I don't know what I'm actually going to do because um, I really just prefer Arteza acrylic paint. I'm kind of spoilt on it. And I really don't know what other brand I would even try in their place until they restock. So I keep hoping they're going to restock. Um, and also, I was going to get their postcards. I saw it on their website first uh, that they have uh, some watercolor postcards to paint on. And so that's where I came up with this idea. However, those sold out as well and they have not restocked. So um, I keep expecting them to. They are out, sold out of almost a lot of stuff on their site. And uh, I think they're just having problems restocking because of COVID reasons, I'm assuming. Because I know Hobby Lobby's had problems keep getting stocked and Michael's. So I think it's just art stuff. is. It, they're having problems getting everything out right now. So, <laughs> uh, it's just very unfortunate, but uh, that's just the times we live in right now, unfortunately. Um, so, I decided I was kind of tired of waiting. I really wanted to do this idea. So, I went on Amazon and I found a couple different brands to try. And uh, if Arteza ever restocks, then I will try and get a hold of some of theirs and uh, try theirs out in another video but for now <laughs> this is what I've got so uh, they are fairly cheap brands as well so I'm very interested to see uh, how this turns out so uh, <laughs> all right so before we get into the video you guys if you want you can go ahead and skip to the painting portion of this video uh, but before we officially get started I do want to say um, I've had this idea for quite a while and I've actually had the postcards themselves for cl probably close to two weeks at this point. And I have had two weeks to uh, make this video in particular, but I have been having one of the worst art blocks. And I'm also, I also love to write. Um, I don't really publish anything, um, sometimes occasionally on Wattpad, but not for a while. Um, it's kind of just for myself. And that's kind of just my creative outlets is art and writing and that's just my big my two big passions and I have had a block in both um, which has really been killing me <laughs> um, I don't really know how it came about I think I just you know I've been working constantly I've been working really hard on everything in my life and uh, I just I've been constantly busy and I think I just slightly got overwhelmed and overworked and uh, yeah, so I guess that's, it came about rather quickly and it's been lingering for quite a while now and I'm just getting, I'm honestly really fed up with myself. <laughs> it's gotten to that point where I'm just, I have all these projects, I have all these ideas I want to do, but I just haven't been inspired or motivated and it's just, I don't have that drive. <laughs> so um, it's just really been, kind of haven't felt like myself because of it and it's just really uh it's not a fun time and so anyone who has dealt with this uh can understand that it's just 
it's like a fog in your mind and you just can't do uh, anything that you really want to and yeah it's, it's kind of hard to explain um, but I've been facing it really bad uh, here lately like almost this entire month I feel like um, well for at least most of January I was feeling it and I think that's kind of why I chose to make the Coraline dolls for uh, my last video um, just because I <laughs> I was overwhelmed and I figured that would be kind of a safe project until I could think of what to do next and uh yeah it's just uh it's just been lingering and it's been really bad so um I have finally decided uh there's nothing else to do except try to work my way out of it and work through it um which is going to be really tough for me um and this is definitely going to be a little bit out of my comfort zone to talk about um but it's just so bad <laughs> so if I at any point throughout this video seem like I am uninterested or I'm not feeling or not sounding like myself um, it's just because I'm facing that block and I'm trying to overcome it and uh, that's my main goal for this video is to uh, for one enjoy creating again because it's been a while and for two just to tackle this uh, big block this obstacle I've had for a while and finally overcome it and hopefully face it straight on and hopefully when I come out the other side of this video at the end of the video hopefully I'll be able to say hey I did that and the block is gone hopefully and I have all these other ideas and I have so many ideas to do so many projects I want to um so I just kind of need to find my way there so hopefully I can do that today <laughs> so I know this intro is pretty long and that's kind of become my thing lately is making my intros extremely long on my videos um, but I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you guys know what was going on um, so if I seem a little off throughout this video or maybe a little stressed or overwhelmed it's just me working through this and I'm I'm okay um, it's just a mental block that I need to overcome and the only way to do it is to face it head on and just tackle it and hopefully I will achieve that goal by the end of this video so <laughs> so this should be an interesting journey for us to go on together and uh, hopefully maybe this will help you guys out too um but yeah so let's just get into this video uh I'm going to paint some postcards so Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so the first step to uh, these postcards is I basically, because I'm facing this block, I jotted down some ideas on this envelope that I had laying around. And I basically just jotted down some ideas I had that I could draw and the people that I would send these postcards to because I decided if I'm going to be doing these, I may as well send them to people that I love and care about, uh, who I'm very close to and all of these people are local to me so I could easily like hand them to them but I think I've decided at least uh, at least three of these people on my list <laughs> I will actually like send through the mail just to make it a little bit more uh, make it more uh, of a surprise in a way and make it more official as a postcard um, but yeah so I thought it would be a, just a cute little fun thing to do uh, to show the people I care about that I'm thinking about them and uh, just to hopefully bring smiles to their faces because uh, the days that we live in right now are very different than what we used to live in and uh, they're a little difficult. So uh, hopefully we'll just make them smile and uh, just let them know that I'm thinking about them. So okay. <laughs> So first things first is I think I'm going to make a, which I hardly ever do this, but I want to get into the habit of doing, is I think I'm going to draw some thumbnails of these ideas um, and kind of pick which ones I really uh, fall in love with and that I would like to do on the postcards. So now the thing about the postcards is I also have a uh, front and back to do. And I, since I'm not actually going to be putting stamps on, I decided because I don't know how the postcards are gonna go through the mail, like uh, even though they're local, you know, I don't really wanna damage the art and I really don't wanna waste any varnish on them. Um, you know, I, I think the natural look will look better. 
So I think I'm actually going to send them in like little envelopes like this. Uh, no, some, nothing fancy, just simple. Um, so I'll put the stamps on the envelopes instead of the postcards themselves. So I also have uh, the little um, spot where you're supposed to put the stamps on, which I can show you. So right there it has a place stamp here and I actually have some sticker paper so I am thinking about uh, maybe uh, making my own uh, drawing like my own little fake stamps to put there um, just as a little added detail because I don't want to have that print show through on my art and make it look weird so yeah. <laughs> So for now, I am planning on making four to five postcards this video. Nothing too crazy. And I'm not used to talking through my process. This is something new I wanted to try. Okay. So nothing crazy. Nothing perfect. Okay, so front and back. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is this first one, I think I'm going to do a flying owl. And I think I'm going to have the owl like carrying a lantern. Because I love how magical lanterns can be. I actually bought a couple here recently. So I just like how lanterns look. Now I am drawing, trying to draw this small because it is just a thumbnail. So I'm not going to go into great detail. Now the particular owl I'm going to do on this is going to be a type of barn owl. And I will show you guys in a minute, but I was inspired, I was on Pinterest, and I was inspired to do um, this because there was a very beautifully colored owl that popped up on my Pinterest. So. I really want to go with that coloration of it and I will show that to you guys in a minute. Now because this is a front and back uh, postcard, that means I have basically two canvases to paint and I kind of have to figure out how I'm going to make them uh, cohesive. I haven't fully decided how I'm going to go about doing that yet. our little lantern. Try and zoom in just a little bit more for you guys because these are <laughs> really tiny. <laughs> okay so there's my little owl uh, carrying a little lantern. That's about as zoomed in as I can get it but yeah it's my cute little barn owl and I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to like border it or have like some magic fly behind like a little wispy <laughs> magical looking fantasy uh, maybe behind those and then like border it maybe with like feathers. Uh, obviously cuter than that but <laughs> those look awful but it is just a thumbnail so I think that'd be really cute um, now I have to come up with a cohesive backside to that postcard though 
Now, looking at a postcard also, uh, they have, it's just a blank post postcard on the front, and then on the back, as you can see on this one, it has like a blank space over here, and then it has uh, the section where you're supposed to write like the address and put the stamp. So, um, and I think you're supposed to like write whatever you want on this section, but because I'm not mailing the postcards uh, by themselves, I will not be using a stamp or writing an address, so I need to find out what to do with all of this area as well. Um, I do think I want to write uh, some cute, uh, maybe some motivational or inspirational quotes on each of these, uh, depending on the person I send each one to, uh, kind of uh, just something that I think they may need to hear, or something that may cheer them up, or motivate them, so... I've kind of picked out a few quotes already, actually, that I may use. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just try and find a pretty way to insert those on this side of the postcard. Um, so really, the main artwork will be on this uh, blank front side of the postcard. So. Uh, so that's the main area I'm going to focus on until I get actually into uh, painting them. And uh, I'm obviously going to add a little bit of artwork on uh, the other side, on the back side as well. Uh, but it will not be like the whole area. It won't be, um, it won't be the main focus. So <laughs> I'm just going to worry about doing a quote and just maybe a slight border, like a cute border and uh, may do like a maybe like just a little bit of art in the corner and have it like kind of spread along the edges of the postcard maybe um, because I definitely don't want to leave uh, the back side so bland after doing such a big art piece on the front so uh, but that's just my thought process on it this far so um, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do uh, for this one is I'm going to do the lantern in the corner. And I am going to uh, maybe do uh, some feathers or some more like magic dust around the borders of the back side. So maybe I'm just gonna add a little magical looking Okay. And then I'm gonna put quote here. And then we'll have to for this corner I'll make some kind of cute little uh, fake stamp to put on there and uh, I think because on these uh, because they have the place stamp here actually printed onto it um, paint won't really cover that I mean I guess acrylic paint would um, but I haven't decided if I'm doing watercolor or acrylic on these um, I'm kind of just going back and forth on that so I think if I decide to do watercolor at least I well either way I might go ahead and just use my sticker paper and um, go from there and just make some cute little uh, fake stamps so Okay, <laughs> so that is postcard number one. I think I'm actually really happy with that design idea. And I really, I have two different people that that would fit uh, to send to. Um, my grandma, who I have uh, called Nanny or Beautiful. You, I have mentioned her in uh, my Little Me Coraline doll video, if you watched that. Um, she is a great scene, uh, like she loves sewing, she's really great at it, she's also a great cook, um, and she actually makes these little, um, I actually have a couple somewhere in here. Okay, so <laughs> these little owls were made by my grandma, by my nanny, <laughs> 
and yeah so they have three different sizes and she has sewn dozens upon dozens of these for uh, family and family friends so they're a little dusty I don't know if the camera's picking that up so I'm sorry if they do but they're just really cute and she does all these different designs and different types of fabrics and buttons and uh, so this design <laughs> may be sent to her um, or my sister who loves Harry Potter and fantasy um, that's like the main genre of books she reads is fantasy so had to put the owls away <laughs> so either one of them uh, I think this postcard would uh, be perfect for and be right up their alley so I'm really happy with that design if I can pull it off when I go to paint it so <laughs> So this has honestly taken some thinking for this one um, and all the others. I haven't really thought out all of them and I really should have tried to before I started this video but like I said at the beginning I'm working through an art block and I'm kind of just having to work through my ideas right now uh, just because nothing is really sticking with me right now. It's just a real challenge to come up with some good uh, art ideas. So. Okay, so for postcard two, number two, um, it's already half past midnight, so I need to get the ball rolling. Um, yeah, so I am thinking of doing a, I guess fantasy is my uh, common theme with these postcards because I'm going to be doing a type of fantasy bear. And I think what I'm going to do is actually have uh, a couple of cubs with this bear. Um, and I'm thinking it's going to be kind of like a celestial theme. I would put my reference photo next to me. Okay. So I'm thinking... I'm just going to do a normal looking... I've clearly never drawn a bear. <laughs> okay, so there's our bear. A rough sketch of one anyways. And then I'm going to have a couple of cubs. I think I'm going to do... Hmm. I think I want one on her back. And then maybe one just laying and gazing at the stars down here. I'm not going to be perfect with these thumbnails because it is just a just to get the ideas on paper <laughs> so I have something to go off of. Oh my gosh, I was out of frame this entire time. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so there's our mama bear. She has one cub there and I think I want to have another one uh, maybe on her back. gonna put just a very poorly drawn <laughs> cub <laughs> okay so I think what I'm going to do is uh, like I said this is going to be a fantasy bear um, and cubs and I think they're gonna be like a uh, celestial. Um, I always love doing celestial stuff, so I think I'm just going to do that. Um, yeah, I think I may like even do like make try to make them like constellations and do like connect the stars or something. I don't know. And then, of course, I will carry that theme all around the border. Um, I also maybe want to do like a full moon. So I'll do that. Uh, that may actually be, the full moon may actually be in the corner. And then off of that, we'll do the stars. That's a ignore that star that was terrible <laughs> and uh, I'll just do 
different types of stars around the border. But yeah, I think that's a really cute idea. And I think this one, the reason I did two cups, I don't know if I explained that. Um, this one is going to be for my mom. Uh, and the cubs represent me and my sister, which we're adults now, we're not cubs, but she is still a mama bear. So um, I think that's the perfect one for her postcard. So on the back side, um, I'm going to have you know the quote and the fake stamp. Um, and actually, I think I might actually do a Winnie the Pooh quote on hers, uh, because she absolutely, she grew up with that cartoon and she loves Winnie the Pooh. Um, so I, I, they have so many cute quotes with that one, so, uh, I would have plenty to choose from, so that would be an easy, easy one for that. So, I think I might carry, uh, the Celestial theme. onto the back side and on this one there will be a crescent moon instead of a full one uh, where that makes sense I don't know I just want to of course add some stars and maybe some like bear prints like bear paw prints so I don't know what bear paw prints exactly look like so this is just since it's a thumbnail I'm just gonna do a poorly drawn paw print. Uh, but we may do like a few small paw prints walking around uh, the quote or something. But yeah. So there is my thoughts on that one. Now hopefully it won't take me as long to come up with an idea for the other ones because I literally got distracted watching a YouTube video watching that one because I just couldn't think. Um, but I'm actually very happy with the first two, and I'm proud of myself. I'm kind of working through my art block right now, and I'm kind of have this rekindled excitement for it, so. <laughs> so after thinking about it for about 10 minutes, <laughs> uh, surprisingly I think I've come up with some rough ideas for uh, the uh, other two postcards. So my co-worker and a close family friend of my of mine is uh, Laura <laughs> and she loves uh, trees and the uh, life cycle of trees and how nature can uh, in a way take care of itself um, like how uh, at the end of fall we get some really heavy winds that takes the rest of the leaves off and um, trees, you know, die in winter and then come back and they're able to uh, withstand all of the elements. And so she just really loves how each tree is unique and uh, I really love her perspective on it. So it really stuck with me <laughs> and anytime I go to paint or do a tree, which are very difficult for me. I'm still learning to master those. Um, but anytime I do them, I think of her <laughs> every time. So I decided I want to do a fantasy since all I've decided all these postcards are going to be fantasy related, um, just to have a running theme. And uh, I'm going to do like a fantasy esque tree, and it's going to be like a very aged, ancient tree. Um, it has seen a lot in its time, <laughs> so I'm just going to roughly sketch out a tree. Now I don't know if I'm going to have it be a fall tree or what season it's going to be, but it's not going to be a dead, it's going to be full of life. And then I am going to have... things dangling from the tree and I think what I'm going to do is it's going to be a bunch of let's see either it's going to be some keys 
and each key uh, goes to like a different realm or to a place where uh, you want or need to be in the time like uh, this tree it kind of reminds me of the room in Hogwarts that only appears when they need it um, on in Harry Potter and it's kind of a tree that just appears when you absolutely need need it if you've lost your hope or your faith um, or you're just completely lost this tree appears and it has a bunch of keys and whichever key um, calls to you you take off the tree and you use it on maybe a door a hidden door that's in the tree and it will take you to the place where you really need at that time and uh, basically you just go on this little journey to find yourself again and yeah so I kind of love the story behind that um of course This uh, little sketch is awful, but, and I'm going to come up with like all these different kinds of styles of keys and all these different designs, um, but because this is small scale and just a thumbnail, of course, I'm not going to go through all of that detail and work just yet. <laughs> Each postcard is going to take its own amount of time when I get to officially doing it. Um, and then I think I'm just going to do a spring tree where it's spring. It's nice and green, and maybe a little bit of yellow. Um, but since it is a fantasy tree, I could also go into like pinks, purples, and blues. And uh, yeah, I could go into those kinds of colors. So I will say my original idea was going to be like having uh, bottles, like maybe messages in a bottle. Um, and just all these different kinds of magical bottles with different substances substances and different uh, potions and stuff in them. But I kind of, ever since I came up with the story, I like the key idea. Maybe my writer's block is gone too now. Because <laughs> I really like that idea. So, and of course, on the back side, we're going to have the quote and fake stamp. The faux stamp. And then uh, on the border, it's on the border. It's going to be uh, some really elegant looking, uh, maybe a little bigger sized um, keys. And I'm going to make them kind of the focal point in each corner diagonally. Uh, so those two corners maybe, and then. Maybe some leaves. Uh, to fill out the rest of the space. I actually really love that idea. So if I can pull it off when I go to paint, um, that's gonna be a really pretty, uh, wonderful, meaningful postcard, I think. So, and I think Laura will love it. She'll love no matter what I do because she's also uh, very supportive. All of these people are, which is why I'm making them these postcards. Um, they've always been very supportive of anything I want to do, um, no matter how many times. If I mess up, um, they've always got my back. And uh, so, yeah, these people are very well deserving of this. So, just a little something I can to kind of pay it forward and give back and show how much they mean to me. So, all right, so the fourth and final, which it's hard to get because I'm on my sketchbook. <laughs> okay, so fourth and final postcard to plan out for the night. Um, so I, the last one is going to be for my sister. And she is a big reader. She, and her main genre is fantasy. So I think I'm going to have like maybe an open book. Mm 
whether that looks like a book or not. <laughs> and then, okay. But I think I may try and do some, now I struggle to do these as well. I absolutely love them, they're gorgeous, but they're very hard for me to do. Personally, every time I try to do them, uh, they just don't come out. So I am going to try, and if I come up with something different, then I'll do that instead. But I'm going to do, ooh, or maybe I could do lightning bugs. See, I was thinking maybe doing either butterflies or lightning bugs. Uh, they're not very fantasy-esque, but with the color, kind of, <coughs> excuse me, kind of like with the tree, uh, the colors don't have to be natural. I can just kind of do whatever I want. So I can make that the fantasy aspect. I think instead of doing the butterflies and lightning bugs, I'm going to try and do something more fantasy-esque. <laughs> And I'm going to do kind of like a sky of stars. Anything celestial is like my go-to. Um, oh, I really like how that star turned out. So I'm just going to do sky of stars coming out of the book. And then in that, I'm going to do, and I've done this before, um, it's one of my favorite creatures of the sea, but my sister loves to dive. Uh, she's a certified diver, her and her husband. So I kind of want to do one of my favorite creatures because I'll take any excuse to do my favorite creature um, from the sea. <laughs> and that is uh, manta rays. And uh, one of my favorite looking manta rays um, is actually the leopard manta ray. So I could maybe do uh, one a leopard manta ray in a fantasy coloring scheme. And then another one be like the basic regular, uh, whatever is it called, like a big gray manta ray. There's like a specific name for it. I thought it was like a big gray or something like that, but uh, or a great, not a great white because that's a shark, but uh, there was something with the color. But uh, yeah, so I think that would be a cute idea. And I could have like maybe just add more story elements from other stories. Um, maybe add like a crown floating in the sky, uh, a rose, um, I'm going to add thorns to that. Um, now those may not stick around, but I figured, you know, fan maybe just adding a few other fantasy elements. Um, but I definitely love doing manta rays, so it's kind of just giving me an excuse to do those. Um, now I am worried that there's going to be a lot of blank space on this one. So maybe if I like really expand that out, so it'll really uh, less lessen the amount of space left and then down there I can maybe just do uh, maybe paint like the table surface that the book is laying on maybe or just kind of just do a blurry background or something or just a basic color in the gaps so it's not just white <laughs> but uh, we will see when we get there um, ooh, maybe like do a candle. And then do a couple candles over here. Just 
having a chill reading time. So yeah. And then of course, on the back side, as per usual, there's going to be the quote, the fake stamp, and then um, maybe candles. Uh, surrounded by bubbles, maybe. <laughs> I am very pleased with these thumbnails, actually, like the main thumbnails. I am not one who usually does thumbnails. I just have never learned to do that. Um, I am a self-taught artist, so uh, everything is still kind of new to me, too. So I learned something new, and I love trying out new methods and new uh new processes and new techniques and this was just something I've picked up on YouTube mainly from watching uh, drawing with uh, drawing with waffles <laughs> drawing with waffles and um, yeah and I think Casey Golden uses this technique as well I've, I don't know I've seen several artists on YouTube but specifically drawing with waffles um, do the thumbnails and I've always admired her for doing that because I'm not a great planner. I am a very much wing it kind of artist uh, but being with this major art block lately I kind of really just needed to have a plan and I really just needed to get the ideas out on paper because um, for one I wasn't sure when I would find the time to actually do these postcards. Um, which I have less than a week to complete and edit this video, so hopefully uh, tomorrow I can get started. Um, but yeah, it, was, it just really helped me uh, work through my art block a little bit and kind of get the cobwebs out and really help me um, just work through all the, all the clutter in my mind um, and actually focus and just to get something on paper and to give me an idea on what to what I have to work with and give me something to go off of when I finally pull out the postcards themselves. So uh, I'm very happy that I did this. Um, it's a great big step um, to help me get through the block. So hopefully when you guys next see my hands, <laughs> I will be working on the postcards themselves and I am very excited. I'm not going to lie. So <laughs> I am back. It's been about a day and a half since I sketched up the thumbnails for these and I was hoping to spend the entire day on them because I got snowed in and couldn't go to work and then the day just got away from me and it didn't happen so um but I need to get this video edited and done by Friday to upload for you guys so I'm hoping to get them done today hopefully so I have enough time to edit um so I ended up getting two brands I showed you guys kind of earlier on um, but the first brand is Strathmore and uh, they're just watercolor postcards and there's 15 sheets in this uh, they're four by six inches and uh, yeah so this is honestly the cheaper ones I could the, like one of the cheapest ones I could find um, that's what the front and then the backs look like that so, which I showed you guys earlier on, and these are the ones I'm going to use in this video. Um, and these were only about $7 on Amazon, so they are the cheaper one. And I've heard of the brand Strathmore because, uh, you know, it is a cheaper brand, and I believe they sell in Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, so they're just a well-known brand. So, just because of that, I figured I would try theirs out. And I have 15 sheets in that one. And then the other brand, which I had never heard of, uh, Tim, Tamuarta, I don't even know how to say that. Um, these are also watercolor postcards, and they're four by six inches as well. And there's 24 in here, um, and they are cold press. So uh, these were about $15 on Amazon, so they are a bit more pricier. Um, they do come in this really cool tin, though, um, which I really like. Uh, I don't really like this uh, bound together, but that is cheaper. So I bet the tin was what uh, rose the price a little bit. Um, but I do like the tin. Uh, just for presentation reasons, I guess. I don't really know why I like it. 
but I just do. Um, I haven't even opened these yet, uh, so I think I'm going to make another video using these um, somewhere down the road. <laughs> But uh, this video, I'm going to use the Strathmore, uh, which of course is the cheaper option. And really, I just wanted to test this brand out on the postcards. Um, I've never used the brand. Um, but yeah, so luckily with watercolor paper, you can almost use any medium, um, except alcohol markers. I believe they bleed through. Um, but I think I'm going to use a mixture of watercolor and acrylic paint on these and uh, see how it goes because I'm not really a, uh, I've never really mixed mediums uh, like that before but I really wanted to have like a different different kinds of effects with these and I'm hoping it'll give it a little bit more depth if I do that so yeah <laughs> let's get it started okay so something I've already noticed is these are a little tough to get out of this and the way it's bound uh like it kind of it's extra glued and there's nothing like uh on the paper to protect it from the adhesive so when i pulled a couple out they were stuck together and it's ripped up uh at the edge of the of the postcard so and that's the back side of this one if you guys can see so that's slightly annoying to have to deal with <laughs> um, and I think that's gonna be another perk with the more expensive because it's in the tin I believe they're already like individual postcards you don't have to pull them off of an adhesive uh, they're not bound together they're individual postcards so I think that will be the perk with the slightly more expensive ones but if you're needing a cheap go-to then I think this would be a safe bet so let's test the paper. The paper is really thick, so I'm actually pretty confident in it. Um, it is watercolor paper and it, it looks and feels like that. So there is a different texture on the back though. So I wonder if you're not supposed to use watercolor on this side. Um, I'm going to try it though, so. <laughs> okay, so for these, uh, I decided I'm going to start with watercolor paint uh, for the backgrounds. Um, just to kind of hopefully give it a little bit of depth and give me something to build off of. So, ooh, I actually had to re-swatch these, but I have uh, Master's Touch metallic watercolor paints, and I used them quite a bit when I was first learning watercolor and it was uh, watercolor was used to be like my go-to paint uh, here recently. It's been acrylic, um, but I kind of alternate between the two. But I had to re-swatch them today because I couldn't find my swatches. Um, so I think I'm going to end up using those uh, a little bit on the backgrounds. Okay, so these Master Touch watercolors, mine's really dusty. They come like this and then you open it, they're pans. They come with a cheap brush that I do not use and then you have to open it. And it's, it reminds me of like a double decker bus. <laughs> so there they are. Yeah, so I decided to pull these out um, and dust them off a little bit. And I figured I would use them for this project. It has been a while. And I just thought since these are all fantasy themed postcards, uh, these would be the perfect uh, background magical looking uh, watercolors to use. So there we go. <laughs>
uh, yeah, I was hoping to finish all of these um, the same day I filmed the last clip. And it did not go down that way, um, unfortunately. So uh, this art block is still hitting me like really hard. So I have just been having problems uh, trying to get motivated and uh, trying to stay like really focused on it. And yeah, it's just been hard. So um, I do have two of them kind of sketched out on the card. You can barely just see it. And I am really glad that I went with the metallics, uh, although they don't really look like postcards until you turn them on the back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I'm really glad I went with the metallic watercolors because they just, they look so pretty. <laughs> so now I'm going to be switching to my acrylic paints uh, to finish these out. And then I'm going to be using my already acrylic uh, paint markers for uh, the tiny details and uh, probably doing some line art with them uh, just to clean it up and yeah so I'm going to try and actually finish them this time or at least half of them because I am seriously running out of time if I want to get this video out on Friday so <laughs> I'm kind of uh, really just need to get them done at this point and I'm hoping by the end of this I will be through my art block and be more motivated to get some other projects done so all right so that's enough talking for me <laughs> I think the rest of this video will just be uh, showing you uh, me painting them so you won't be hearing my voice until the end um, and I hope you guys enjoy it so let's get to painting <laughs>
Okay, so to make my fake stamps, I am going to pull out uh, the big guns, uh, my Ohuhu markers. Just try and give you guys a bigger perspective of those. I have the bigger set, uh, which I believe is 320 colors. So uh, I'm going to be using them, and I'm going to test them out on my sticker paper because if I can do that, it would skip a whole step of scanning and printing and all of that mess. So I'm going to test them out on my skirt. Uh, I'm going to test them out on my sticker paper and hope they hold up and uh, don't bleed through so badly. Um, which, they're just stickers anyway, so if it does bleed through, as long as it doesn't eat the paper, it should be fine. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be using my Ohuhu markers and some just plain sticker paper that I've had around for a while and never used. <laughs> And uh, I'm just going to make some fake stamps for the postcards. And that's really the final touch I have of these before sending them off. So I'm very excited for this step because I'm really ready for this project to be done. Um, I do feel a lot better about my uh, art block. I think I finally worked through it. Um, I still have a little bit of a kind of a fog, I guess is the way I'd say it. But I'm feeling a lot better. So... Alright, and the moment has come where it's time to officially finish these postcards by putting the stamps on them and then preparing them to send to their new homes. <laughs> Alright, I'm so excited for this. First up is... My mom's. Bye. 
Okay, and that is all for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this was a tough one for me. Um, and, which is sad because I had planned on doing this for a while. I had been so excited to do it. And then it finally came about and I just couldn't get and like really invested into it. I am really proud how they turned out. I think they are very pretty. <laughs> so I think those metallics were a good choice. And yeah, so I'm, I'm very happy with how they turned out. <laughs> and I cannot wait to share them with uh, the people I made them for uh, because they are very special to me so I'm very excited it's been hard not to like text them and let uh, like send them pictures of them and uh, it's been hard not to like I haven't said a single thing I want it to I want to just completely surprise them and have them just show up so this was actually a pretty fun learning process because I had never worked on postcards before and uh you know, I had never really painted or drawn the things that I painted on these. Um, except the manta rays. I do love doing manta rays. So, um, it was just really fun to test myself and challenge myself and uh, just to come up with these creative stories to go with each piece. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm actually going to send like a little letter uh, with each one. Um, well, with my sisters and... Uh, Laura's for sure <laughs> um, but yeah I really enjoyed this and I hope you guys do too and maybe this would be a good idea if you have art block yourself maybe this would be a fun uh, challenging project to help you through it as well um, because I've had it rough and uh, which is it was really terrible for me because I have all these ideas I want to uh, fulfill and you know it's the beginning of the year so it's really early for me to get a block and uh, plus I've just started getting used to my upload schedule uploading every Friday and so it's just a real struggle this time around but I think doing these really helped me through it and I finally faced it and hopefully I have beat it um, I can't really say for sure until I move on to the next project but but, ooh, that was rough. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see another video like this of me painting more postcards because I would love to do so. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>